Hey there, this is MathCamp321 bringing you another question from the Park Algebra 2 practice test. This is question number two from years 2014-2015. The question says, determine the solution or solutions of the equation 2m squared plus 3m minus 5 divided by m squared plus 4m minus 5 equals 4. Select all that apply which leads me to believe there might be more than one answer. And you'll notice in red at the top of the screen I put the key pitfall in this question is not checking. Whenever you have a variable in the denominator of an equation, you wanna make sure that you plug your answers back in in the end to make sure that you don't have a situation that's undefined. If your fraction ever reveals a number divided by zero, then you'd have to reject that answer as an extraneous solution. So just keep that in mind as we do the problem and we get our solutions that we're gonna to need to do this thing of, called checking, which a lot of students forget to do. And I think that's really what they're trying to drive home here is when you solve an equation, yeah, you're 80% you're of the way done, but that other 20% is to take the effort, take the time to check to make sure that it actually works. So what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm going to uh, put that 4 over 1 and then cross multiply. And I'm going to start by multiplying the 4 through the trinomial on the bottom left. And that's going to give me 4m squared plus 16m minus 20. And now I'm going to multiply the top left trinomial times 1, which of course just leaves me with what I started with. 2m squared plus 3m minus 5. Now what I notice here is that I have a quadratic equation uh, because of these m squareds and to solve a quadratic equation the first step that you're going to want to take is set the whole thing equal to zero. So I'm going to move all of the elements from the right hand side to the left hand side. So that's going to net me on the left side 2m squared plus 13m minus 15 equals zero. Now, Many teachers have different ways of factoring this type of quadratic, but I'm going to use the process that I use at my school. So it might be elusive to you what I'm doing, but uh, use whatever method that you need to do to factor this. So very quickly, I'm going to multiply the first and last terms together, getting me negative 30. And now I'm going to make two branches and list all factor pairs of 30, which would be 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, and 5 and 6. And I need to pick the pair which subtracts to 13. So that's going to be 2 and 15. And I need it to be positive 15 and minus 2. And now I'm going to say 2m over and 2m over. I'm, I'm creating two fractions in essence. And the 2m came from this right here. I drop the squared, and then I'm gonna write these numbers as my denominators, so this will be minus two and plus 15. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to read these fractions downward and reduce if possible, and those are gonna become my factors of this factored form. And let me just stress to you that if you do this a different way, that's totally fine. So the 2 and the 2 are going to cancel. So instead of saying 2m minus 2, I'm going to say 1m minus 1, or just m minus 1. And then over here, this turns into 2m plus 15. That can't be reduced, so I'll write 2m plus 15. And maybe we could do a quick FOIL to check. m times 2m is 2m squared. And then we have 15m minus 2m is 13m minus 15. Okay, so this works. So now I'm going to use the zero product property and set each of these factors equal to zero. So m minus one equals zero, leaving me with m equals one, and 2m plus 15 equals zero, leaving me with 2m equals negative 15, and dividing by two leaves me with m equals negative 15 halves. Now, both one and negative 15 halves are on the list. But let's go back to the initial comment that I made in the red box. The key pitfall that I would identify in this question is that students will forget to check. 
And if we were to plug 1 back into the original, so let's actually do that. Let's take this original denominator specifically. If I were to plug 1 in, I would get 1 squared plus 4 times 1 minus 5, or 1 plus 4 minus 5. And this is going to equal 0. And you can't ever have 0 in the denominator. So this is what we would call an extraneous solution. So therefore, the only answer that I would actually pick here is negative 15 halves. And one last comment. Another thing that you could have done to perhaps more quickly assess that is to take this denominator here and, and actually factor it. And that factors into m plus 5 and m minus 1. And perhaps it would have been easier to realize that, hey, I've got m equals 1, and if I plug that in here, that's going to give me a factor that turns into 0, which occurs in the denominator. So the only answer that satisfies this rational equation is m equals negative 15 halves. m equals 1 does not work because it leaves you with 0 in the denominator, which is an unsolvable situation.